Good day, folks. We're going to do another pattern video. Uh, it's our last star in the, in the uh, 12 month and 13th month cycle. Uh, it's the brightest star in Leo. It's called Regulus. And we're going to show a 21 year pattern of the 12th and 13th month witnesses with this video. Our goals is to show that 21 year pattern for the 12 month and 13th month witnesses. Provide the celestial witnesses for the wide and great distance between the star Regulus and Spica. Revisit the celestial witnesses, which determine the 13th month years. Compare their 13th month from their last year. And what, what I mean by there, uh, we have some uh, folks that we're uh, fellowship with that they're in their 11th month, and we just began our 12th month yesterday. So when I'm saying there, we're going to show their 13th month from last year. Uh, which was our first day of the month, and uh, we're going to show it through this uh, video today and of the 13th month witnesses of Regulus. So I did a video yesterday, released it yesterday, called Wide and Great. Uh, it's, it's, it's talking about the distance between the brightest star in Leo, which is the 12th, bright, uh, the 12th star in the constellations, um, so it would be your 12th month witness and then speaker, which is also uh, Hebraically known as a beeb, uh, means that you're a grain. Wide and great was done to show the distance and the margin of distance uh, between Regulus and Spica. And it's, it's quite wide and great compared to all the other stars. So in that video, I shared this slide here. It's uh, 12 constellations and their brightest stars. And as you can see, uh, Virgo, or what they, in Hebrew, I believe it's called Berthula, maybe. Uh, but Spica is also known as Abib, is the brightest star in that constellation of Virgo. And then we have Regulus, which is the brightest star in Leo. And that's the very last month, unless you have a 13th month year. So uh, I believe that's the reason there's a great and wide distance, and I believe that's why eventually after their Babylonian captivity, the Jews started calling uh, the 12th month Adar after the Babylonian name for the month for, for wide and great. So when we look at the um, degrees here, we... We had 20 degrees between Spica and Zubin Eskimali. We had 24 here uh, between the, the next two brightest stars and 22 here between these two, 13 degrees here between these two, nine degrees between these two, um, and then 25 between these two, two degrees between Kulat Nunu and Hamal, which are the, the closest ones out of all. 33 degrees between Hamal and uh, Aldebaran, 31 degrees between Aldebaran and Pollux, and 16 degrees between Pollux and Tarf, and then 21 degrees between uh, Tarf and Regulus. And I started I started doing star studying um, after the our sixth month. I I started or started looking at Cullet Nunu was my first pattern video I believe I did. But I've done dozens of videos this. Um, this year because I was perplexed. Uh, you know, I wanted to make sure my own house, Tanya and myself, were um, observing the uh, celestial calendar properly by what is not only is scriptural between Genesis and Revelation, but also what we can see of the lights above. What's the pattern from the lights above? Uh, those, you know, those are our witnesses too, uh, given from the Father of Lights from above. So, this is why I've been such on a mission to try to um, make sure um, myself and Tanya um, were being right in the calendar that we were keeping and, and keeping it scriptural and keeping it by the celestial lights above. And here's the whopping difference. Speak at a regulus is 53 degrees. It's 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 near 20 degrees more uh, than Hamal to Aldebaran. So those that's the greatest distance. And so that that put a thought in my mind uh, goes back to Adar. And when you go study Adar and go look at that video, wide and great, uh, double speed it and you get it done in less than nine minutes. But anyway, 
go listen to that video and then go check out the witnesses that I provided. Don't depend on what I what I say. Go check it out for yourself. Uh, but this is the uh, degrees between speak and regulus here, which is provides them provides the father the ability to place the renewed moon between regulus and speak twice over a two month period of time. We're also going to revisit a little bit of the 30 year pattern for the first new moon of the year. And that was one of the first ones that I did. And it's amazing that we can actually get witnesses before our, um, we should know that we're in a 13 month year by the, where Abib and the moon are together uh, on a renewed moon day. So uh, it's, it's an awesome um, example of the patterns that Yahuwah provides for us. But we're going to revisit some of them slides here in this video today. So how I'm doing these slides here, I've got Spica here highlighted in yellow and got Regulus. And we're going to do that on each one of the slides. And then, of course, we're going to, I zeroed out the moon here on the horizon. So that's why it's at the level it's at. I just wanted to have a, a guideline, this line here, the horizon line is a guideline uh, for the distance between uh, Speak and Regulus. My field, all of my field of views are going to be set at this 83.7 uh, degrees. Uh, so nothing changes in between them. So it just uh, keeps the slides uh, basically standard. And this was, this was yesterday. This was our 12th renewed moon day yesterday that Tony and I celebrated and uh, several others that we know celebrated their 12th uh, renewed moon day yesterday uh, because the moon ruled the night. We got to, we got to go back to Genesis 1 16 and that lesser light that ruled the night and then go to Psalms 136, I believe eight and nine talks about the sun and moon uh, and the moon ruling the night. Um, with the stars and it does uh, so uh, but when that moon's still above your horizon when the day begins um, for the first time that's your new moon day and um, it's it's that simple it's that simple to keep up with but but besides that most of my slides the pattern for my slides is going to look like this uh, we're going to highlight speak and regulus and we're going to put here what month it was 12th re renewed month and then you'll have the year here um, is, of course, that's the Gregorian year, but you'll have the year here to go by. So let's get started. So in 2004, we had Spica here. We had Regulus here where the moon is on the horizon. Um, that's, that's, that was a 12th renewed moon year there. Now, 2005 here, uh, pre the previous 12 months, uh, it was showing at, at a babe the earlier uh, part of that year, it was shown to be a 13th month year. Uh, but look where Regulus is here. Regulus is ahead of the moon, and that's the pattern you're going to see. Regulus is always going to be a bit ahead of the moon in the 12th and 13th month. It's always going to be uh, ahead of the moon in the 12th and 13th month uh, before the moon gets all the way to Spica or in the vicinity of Spica. So it's going to be a pattern to look for. So keep in mind, these these are going to be the patterns here uh, that we're going to look at. So going back to my earliest video of this year, when we was talking about it, this was our 30 year pattern. Uh, you know, the excellent witness that was provided to me years ago by a, a good study uh, buddy at the time was Anytime there's two full moons in the same, uh, even in the Gregorian calendar, that makes it thir 13 full moons um, between uh, the beginning of spring and the, and the end of winter, or the beginning of summer and the end of winter. So basically our year, so that provides, so they call it blue moon. It's great, but of course you can't see it on this date here. Uh, of April 5th, 2004, but what you could see on April 5th, 2004, is you're going to see the star speaker, which is a beeb. It's in the house. It's in with the moon there. It's in that vicinity there. They're basically going to touch the horizon basically almost at the same time as they, uh, as they disappear from your uh, site because they, all these video, all these slides are going to be from the morning time. Uh, as you can see here, the sun in the east 
and the moon's heading in the west here. So again, keep that in mind. So, uh, so our 13 month year pattern, not only can we see it here, but based on where that renewed moon, there's also a pattern that I provided in that video of where uh, from April the 1st, I believe, to April the 10th, anytime a remote renewed moon happened during that period of time, a beeb's going to be right there, and it's going to be a sign for a 13-month year. So I won't dwell on that much more. We're just going to show these slides as they come up, and uh, I won't speak to them that much. I'll just point out a few factors there. All right, so we got still in 2005 here. This was the 13th month, and notice that Regulus uh, leads the renewed moon twice before it even gets to Spica. Spica is, is uh, several degrees above the horizon when the moon's uh, basically zeroed out on the horizon. So that was the 13th re renewed uh, month uh, right there in 2005. Now there, again, uh, the people that are keeping 11th month right now, their 13th month from last year was uh, on April the 6th, which was our first month. And you can see here that Regulus is here, but look where uh, Speak is, it's right with the moon. So that pattern uh, doesn't hold true with how they were keeping their year this year. So again, all the patterns are showing that we should be in a 12 month. This is a 12th renewed moon in 2006. Speaker here, Regulus here, and the moon divide. 2007, 12th renewed moon year. Um, we got Speaker here, Regulus here. We got a 12th renewed moon day, 13th month year uh, in 2008. Uh, we got Speaker way up here, and we got Regulus right here. How did we? know it was going to be a 13 month year i didn't know because i didn't keep the the full moon uh the celestial calendar at the time um but um if you go back look at this um date here on april the third that that holds true between that april 1st and april i think it's april 1st to april 10th or april 11th either one but you can see here that the moon and a beaver right with each other it's almost like that video i did a beeb you know behold a beeb is in the house so there's a reason the letters in the uh scriptures say um uh, ha habib you know it's, it's talking about the abib the star abib is in the new moon so it's it's right there with it so this is a, again, this was a witness for a 13 month year because we had a blue moon in May. All right, 2008, that 13th renewed moon. Uh, here's your sign here. You got the Regulus leads the renewed moon twice. So that happens in a 13 month year. You got Regulus here and Speaker here. And here again, there's their 13th renewed moon. See the difference between the last 13th month you just saw and this one here. All right, in um, 2009, the 12th renewed moon day, uh, you have Regulus here, Speaker here. This is 12th renewed moon, but it's also going to be a 13 month year. So you got Regulus leading the moon here, and you got Speaker way up here. Now watch here. The reason we knew this was going to be a 13 month year is because look, the the speaker and the moon are going to be touching the horizon basically at the same time. It happens within that April uh, 1st, April 11th time period. So there's two witnesses right there. This one, you really can't see that one happening until you get there. So we're, we're concerned about what we can see. And so these are excellent two witnesses um, where we have this right here and we have the, this gregorian date um their pattern we can use their pattern to provide information for our 13 month year all right so 13 month 13th renewed 
moon is uh, right here. We have Regulus leads the renewed moon twice. So look where Regulus is and look where Speak is. It's well above the rising, and the moon is right here at the rising. So it's not in the house. It's not in the the renewed moon. It's not in the Kadesh uh, at that time. And here's again, I'll revert, uh, repeat this, their 13th renewed moon day. Uh, this is what it looked like. And see, Abib and the moon are right there together. All right, so a 12th renewed moon uh, year in 2011. And you can basically tell right here, we're not going to get another moon in between here and speaker. So that's why it's a 12th renewed. Look how far Regulus was uh, ahead of the moon. So that's another great sign as you look above and you're witnessing uh, for your 12th month. That's a great sign that it's going to, it's just a 12th month. And you should know that before you get to a 12th month anyway. You should already know that you're in a 12 or a 13 month year from the very beginning of the year. All right, Regulus is here. Uh, this 12th renewed moon on 2012. We got a Regulus here, Speaker here. Uh, we got 12th renewed moon day uh, in 2013. It's going to be a 13 month year. Look where Regulus is compared to where the moon is, and then we'll speak away up here. Now we look at that witness for that. Uh, because uh, in 2012, you had two blue moons, which you can't see that at the beginning of the year. But what you can see is where Abib and the, the Quadesh is at the same time, the renewed moon, and then also even the date, April the 7th, which holds within that April 1st to April 11th uh, period of time. Now, here's your 13th renewed moon. So you got Regulus here and Spica way up here, and you got the moon on the rise. So Spica's not in the new moon, uh, uh, or Spica's not in the new moon yet. It's still Regulus. So Regulus leads the renewed moon twice in that year, okay? That's what happens on a 13-month year. Okay, excuse me. Again, we, if we compare their 13th renewed moon of last year, um, or as uh, it would be our year, but this would be their last year um, here because this was their 13th new moon. This is where Regulus was. And again, well, I'm going to just keep on repeating this because we've got, we got to look at the pattern, guys. We got to look at what, how the Father of Lights puts his lights above for us to determine our times, our appointed times. Okay, we got a 12th renewed moon in 2014. We got Regulus here. We got Speaker here. And then you can tell the moon's actually closer to Speaker than it is Regulus. So that would definitely be a 12th renewed moon. And we knew that earlier in that year. All right, we got a 12th renewed moon day in 2015. We got Regulus here and we got Speaker here. So yeah, it looks like maybe you could get one more moon in there before that. Um, but it doesn't happen. Now we got 12th renewed moon in 2016. Uh, 2016, I'm sorry. Um, we got Regulus here. We got Speaker here. And we got uh, the moon here. So look, you can probably fit another moon in between there, right? That's what it looks like based on the patterns. So we look at that particular slide from... Uh, that pattern, I, that first video I did on the 30 year pattern. Again, look where Speaker is. It's a head of the moon, uh, but it's right there in the Quadesh. It's, it's, it's Bakadesh, Bakadesh, Ha Abib, Ha, uh, ha Kadesh. Uh, the language matters. And look here, here's your other April the 5th. It falls within that Gregorian timeline there. And then you got a blue moon, which you would see later in that year. Uh, but because this is in the past, we can we know that this happened uh, here. All right, so we got a 13th renewed moon, and look where the moon is. It's not speaking, it hasn't got close to where the moon is yet. And then you got Regulus well ahead. So Regulus lead the re renewed moon twice in a 13 month year. It, it happens every time there's a 13 month year. Regulus will always lead the renewed moon twice. 
And here's their 13th renewed moon on April 6, 2023. Again, that's not the sign for a 13 month year. 12th renewed moon day in 2017, got regulus here, speaker here. And as I can tell already by this pattern, uh, this is only a 12 month new year, but we would have known that at the beginning of the year based on where a babe and the moon was together. Uh, this 12th renewed moon day uh, in 2018, we got regulus here, speaker here. It looks like you could possibly get one more moon in, but it doesn't happen this year. It's going to be the next year before that happens. So here it is, 12th renewed moon. This is a 13 month uh, year in 2019. We got regulus here, we got speaker here. So let's look at the pattern um, from um, a slide from the previous videos. So here we have a, a blue moon happening here, uh, March 31st. Basically it says March 1st, March 31st, but you gotta understand that, that it wouldn't be till your April the 1st until our day began on the new moon. So uh, that happened in 2018. Again, look where the moon is compared to uh, uh, Abib. Abib was uh, in the Kodesh. Uh, ha Abib. Bak Kodesh, I guess you'd, that's the language. But again, the pattern holds true, guys. All right, so we are our 13th renewed moon in that year, as it proved earlier in that year. Um, you've got speaker here, well above the horizon, and then you got the moon here, well away from the moon. So it's not in Bakadesh. It's not hot Abib Bakadesh. It's not. And reg Regulus here. So Regulus leads the renewed moon twice. Again, go back to their 13th renewed moon of, of their last year. And uh, here we go. So that pattern just doesn't hold true for what way they um, look to this. So anyway, I pray that people are uh, starting to look at these witnesses above more uh, as I've done. And it's just helped me. It's been a blessing. I, it's, it's really, I, I give a great shout out to Yahuwah, hallelujah, because uh, it's been a blessing for me to, to go and study. It just made me um, a better witness because I went and done my research to, and see if there was a pattern with all of this. All right, we got a 12th new, renewed moon day in 2020. Regulus here, speaker here. We got a 12th renewed moon day in 2021. We got Regulus here. Um, and it's got, a th this is a 13 month year. And look how close the moon is to Regulus. There's another good sign once you get to the 12th month, which Regulus is your 12th month um, deal. Uh, your star and then Spica is your first month. Let's see if we get another moon in between before it gets to Spica. So we know, knew it was going to be a 13 month year uh, based on here's your uh, star of Beeb in front of the moon and its circuitry. And uh, you got April the 8th up here. So there's two great witnesses. There's two witnesses by itself to tell you that's a 13 month year. Then of course, once you got to Oct the end of October, you would know that, hey, it was uh, this year had a blue moon in it. So you should know there's going to be a blue moon based on these two factors right here. Now, 13th renewed moon day uh, here. We got Regulus here. We got Speaker well above the horizon here. And you got the moon right here. So it's not even uh, Bakadesh. Uh, ha Abib is not Bakadesh. But Regulus leads the renewed moon twice. So that's that wide, wide and great gap. Why they call it Adar, uh, the old the, the old name for, they got Adar 1 for the 12th month and Adar 2 for the uh, 13th month. So go look at that wide and great video and go research it yourself. And that's, that's the reason this Babylonian name got used in Esther is because they, they were they were just departed from the Babylonian captivity and they picked up a lot of the Babylonian uh, traits and such. 
Uh, Regulus leads the renewed moon twice. There we go. That's always the 13th month. That's what's going to happen. And again, go back, and that's just not a 13th. Based on the pattern, that's not a 13-month sign. Here's your 12th renewed moon day for 2022. We got Regulus here. Speak of here. We got 12th renewed moon day in 2023. We got Regulus here. We got Speaker here. And then 2024, which was yesterday, we had a 12th renewed moon day, but it was a sign for a 13 month. So look where Regulus was. And I got some great pictures in my video. I actually got some pictures of Regulus and the moon together and the Regulus was leading the moon, which I don't know if that doesn't factor in. Uh, I haven't found any scripture where it talks about a star has to lead. I believe this is some of these outside books that people are going to that's uh, drawing this from. But we've got to stop. We got to keep Elohim true and uh, ever man a liar. And um, I don't see anything within Genesis to Revelation that gives us indication. Uh, that a star uh, has to lead a a renewed moon for it to be a, a you know a particular month. Uh, but what we should know, we should know the pattern uh, to look for for a twelfth month and a thirteenth month year. So again, this thirteen month year here. There's how close Regulus was with the moon. And we look there, we got the, the sign here for April the 6th falls within that uh, 13 month uh, bracket of the Gregorian calendar. And there's a, there's the star, it's a Ha Abib uh, Bach Kadesh, there the in, in the renewed moon, Abib. Hey, behold, Abib's in the renewed moon. That's basically what that Hebrew uh, means. So, and then, of course, you wouldn't know that it was a blue moon until August. You wouldn't know what month it would happen in, but you would know that there would be a blue moon in the Gregorian, happen in the Gregorian calendar that year. And um, there would be 13 new moons for the Hebrew calendar. And we got the 13 renewed moon day. Again, Regulus leads the renewed moon twice, so it, it led it in the 12th month that year. Uh, or well, this is coming up. I'm sorry, this is projected. So um, this is just a rendering of what we're expecting it to be. Uh, I will be out looking to make sure uh, because right now our, our Sabbaths are going to be on the next four Saturdays. And I, at that last uh, Sabbath, I'm going to go out and I'm going to observe the moon that evening. Then I'm going to go out that next morning and observe where the moon is about an hour before sunrise and get the gist of uh, if it's going to be a new moon that day or it's going to hold until over until Monday. And currently, my projected date is going to be a Monday on the Gregorian date of uh, March 25th, 2024. So, but again, you saw here where Regulus led the, the renewed, will lead the renewed moon twice. And I'll be able to get, uh, well, I can't say I'll be able to get pictures of it. Uh, if the weather is clear, Yahuwah willing, I'll be able to get pictures of it. Uh, if my cameras, you know, if all the equipment's working properly, I should be able to get a picture of the moon in Abib at that, at, at that, uh, not at that portion of the morning because it would be too light, but I would get it earlier in the, in the night, which um, speaker would be much further behind the moon at that point in time because it, the stars travel much faster than the moon. But here again, here's their 13th month of 2023, and it's again, that pattern just does not hold true to a, uh, the 13th renewed moon uh, pattern that I've been showing here. So the goals uh, show a 21 year pattern for the 12 month and 13 witnesses met that goal here. Uh, provide the celestial witnesses for the wide and great distance between the star Regulus and Spica. And I did that here. And if you want to check out more, go check out the uh, my last video uh, called uh, Great and Wide. And it's just talking about uh, what they call the 12th month of Dar. Uh, the reason they were a Dar uh, means great and wide in uh, Strong's number 142. 
uh, revisit the celestial witnesses, which determine the 13-month uh, years. We did that here in this video. Compare their 13-month, their 13-month, and I'm talking about the guys that are still on the 11th month, and they're, they're waiting on uh, their 12th month to start when we've already started there. Their 13-month from their last year to the 21 pattern of the 13-month witnesses of Regulus. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely, um, we met that goal here in this video. So regulus, a 21-year pattern of the 12th and 13-month witnesses. So uh, again, I'm so thankful that um, this has given me the drive to go, you know, um, get outside more, uh, start looking at the stars, try, try to start learning those stars that's in that, uh, that e what they call it, elliptical, which is er each one of those brightest stars are within 20 degrees of that elliptical uh, pattern. And so if you can find how it, what, how the elliptical pattern works, you're gonna be able to uh, search them stars out through the night um, up to, you know, up to a certain point. Uh, I'm not gonna stay up late enough to, I think about one, one or one thirty is about as late as I stay up to observe uh, the lights above. But, but anyway, we need, we need the scriptural witnesses from the Father and we need the the light witnesses from the Father of Light. So um, the word the word is the main thing we should always go to, and then the light. So this this video was not done to prove anybody wrong. This was done just for just to set me at peace and shalom in my own self and and in my house where Tanya and I reside, um, where we're not. We're not um, doubting our um, what month we should be in, or even when our months begin and when our Sabbaths are. So, um, so anytime that there's a, a difference in anything, I'll go study it out for myself, and then I've got great study uh, buddies that uh, I can study it out with too, and uh, and they're very helpful. So anyway, it was. Have a, a great rest of your day. Uh, what's left, depending on when this video gets uploaded, uh, that's always a if around here, living out in the boonies where we live. But uh, sometimes it takes all night to upload a video. So um, we'll pray that that doesn't happen here. But as always, we're going to give praise to Yahuwah. Hallelujah, indeed. And we'll see you all on the next one.